right, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress using MAMP Pro as a virtual server on your computer. So the purpose of this lesson isn't to dive into all the features, it's actually to do it as quickly as possible. So there's a lot of great things that you'll be missing out on, so to learn more about that there's some awesome tutorials online. You can go to MAMP.info uh, where you can download MAMP and they've got this Watch MAMP TV link so you can delve into all kinds of great tutorials and resources there. Uh, so without wasting any more time, I just want to get after it. I'm assuming you've already got MAMP Pro installed on your computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that up for me. I just hit Command Space, start to type it out, and hit Return. That's a Spotlight shortcut, which I love to use all the time. Uh, okay, so with MAMP Pro open, what we're going to do is jump over to the General tab, just so you can kind of see what my settings are. Um, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail, detail about you know why it's set this way other than this one right here run Apache MySQL server as I'm gonna change this to my username the reason why is so that way when I'm setting up these folders I have the permissions uh, correct so I can make changes I need to down the road uh, it gives you the scary message here that it's highly recommended that you don't do that but for today's purposes it's not an issue because we're not using this computer uh, as a server online so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and uh, jump over to my host tab and this is where we could set up our domain name or our fake domain name. I've gotten into a habit of using dev dot you know whatever dot com. Uh, this can be anything you want. Uh, it could even be an actual address that's already out there. For example, apple dot com or you know even adobe dot com. And what this is going to do when I start my servers, it's going to update the host file and basically fool my computer into thinking that this URL is whatever I've set my document root as. Um, so what we're going to do now is jump over to Safari and let's go to wordpress.org and I'm going to download WordPress. So that's going to give me all of the files I need to uh, set up a WordPress installation. Now that that's started to download I can close that window and when it finishes downloading I'll drag that zipped folder to my desktop and unzip it. Now I would recommend that you put this wherever your documents are. Um, you know, Again for today I'm just working off the desktop but put it somewhere that's going to be safe that's not going to get moved or deleted on accident as you're developing your website. And now with that set up what I'm going to do is go ahead and come over here and find my document root folder and I'm going to find that WordPress folder on the desktop. Now had I not changed that permissions uh, on that first tab, this would be grayed out and I wouldn't be able to use this. So that's part of the reason why I made that setting change. So now I've told it my document root, I've got my URL, and I can go ahead and save that and start my servers now. It's going to request for my uh, password. And then now my virtual servers are running. So now if I go to that, I can hit this little uh, shortcut here on the server name, and it's going to open up adobe.com but this obviously looks nothing like adobe.com because it's running the virtual server and it's updated the host file but it does see my WordPress download so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue now uh, what we're gonna need to make this link up with the database we're gonna need our database name username password and host uh, to get this running so next we need to set up our database and I've also gotten in the habit of uh, using text edit to uh, take any notes when I'm making a new new install. So let's uh, come over here and we'll just highlight the information I need. Paste it in there so I can make sure I get everything that I'm looking for. So I'm going to jump over here to this MySQL tab and down here where it says PHP MyAdmin, I'll open that up. All right, so we're going to make a new database over here on the left, and you can see I've got all kinds of databases from prior installs, but I'm going to hit new, and we're going to create a database right here at the top, put in our database name, and we can call this whatever we want. I guess we're just going to roll with Adobe since that's what I started. Um, I also tend to try and make it something that makes sense, so as I'm, as I'm scrolling through all these other databases, I can kind of see... Uh, what the database is for instead of just a string of numbers. So that's going to be my database name. and I'll go ahead and hit this create button. And now what I want to do inside of that database that we just created, I'm going to come over here to this privileges tab and we want to create a new user. So down here in the bottom we've got add user and you can name anything you want uh, for the sake of consistency. I might even just call it Adobe database. Maybe we'll just call it Adobe user to mix it up a little bit. 
and again copy paste that way I don't forget what I've got the settings as we'll set the host to localhost password type uh, you know sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll type up things that I use often when I'm when I'm trying to go quick but anymore because of security issues I typically let this generate password shortcut take care of that for me so I'll generate a password and then this is where you definitely need to copy it because there's no way I'm ever going to remember that so I'll paste that in here and because we have localhost set over here this will be localhost uh, for today's purposes and then I'm gonna go ahead and check all I've I've had mixed feedback I've had some people tell me don't let let them be able to do a drop which basically would let it delete the database this user um, I'm just going to check all for right now, and I'd love your feedback if you have a different way that you do it for certain reasons. But again, for today, we're just trying to get this up quick. So we've got our user, we've got our password, and all of the information we need to set up WordPress. So now what I'm going to do is jump back over to MAMP Pro. I'm going to come over to my host file. I'm going to go back over to the shortcut to open that window again that I closed on accident. And it's going to take me to my website. We'll hit continue. And we have all this information now, so let's go. All right, the database name is this. We got Adobe underscore database. We've got our Adobe username and our password. And it's localhost, so I'm going to hit submit and run the install. Perfect, that's all we needed, so let's give this site a title. Username, uh, just so I don't forget what I'm doing. Let's give it a password. Awesome, it's very weak. And now this is kind of a challenge. I think I gotta change it. Perfect, okay, and now I'm gonna put in my email. Um, and actually, this is helpful too in case you forget your password, but you shouldn't need that. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow search engines to index a site, mostly just so I don't forget to turn this on later. Uh, but depending on your preferences, you can turn that off just so that way uh, you don't accidentally have your site indexed with something you're not ready for them to see. But again, we're working locally, so it's really not a big deal. This is just settings for when you move it live. It's easy to forget that. But I'm gonna go ahead and install WordPress. And success, let's log in. All right, so my username was Adobe. Here's my password. And I'll log in and uh, was what just just a little under uh, eight minutes and we've got a fully functioning website locally on our virtual server so that's about the end of this tutorial the rest of its pretty uh, straightforward um, there's there's all kinds of tutorials out there for uh, using WordPress I'm going ahead and stop here uh, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions and uh, I'll be doing another tutorial on what to do once your site is ready, how to get it from AMP Pro onto a uh, real host somewhere. So thanks for watching.